Hello everybody and welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Melissa and I'm so glad you could tune in for this week's Toddler Time. Are you ready to get started? We are going to start with our welcome song. You ready? Here we come now to story time, to story time, to story time. Here we come now to story time, so early in the morning. And this is the way we clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands, so early in the morning. And this is the way we stomp our feet, stomp our feet, stomp our feet. This is the way we stomp our feet, so early in the morning. And this is the way we wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. This is the way we wave hello so early in the morning. All right, so next it is time for our first story for today. And today's first story is Olivia. And this story is by Ian Falconer. This is Olivia. She is good at lots of things. She is very good at wearing people out. She even wears herself out. Olivia has a little brother named Ian. He's always copying. Sometimes Ian just won't leave her alone. So Olivia has to be firm. Olivia lives with her mother, her father, her brother, and her dog Perry and Edwin the cat. In the morning, after she gets up and moves the cat and brushes her teeth and combs her ears and moves the cat again, Olivia gets dressed. She has to try on everything. On sunny days, Olivia likes to go to the beach. She feels it's important to come prepared. Last summer, when Olivia was little, her mother showed her how to make sandcastles. She got pretty good. Sometimes, Olivia likes to bask in the sun. When her mother sees that she's had enough, they go home. Every day, Olivia is supposed to take a nap. It's time for your you-know-what, her mother says. Of course, Olivia's not at all sleepy. On rainy days, Olivia likes to go to mu the museum. She heads straight for her favorite picture. Olivia looks at it for a long time. What could she be thinking? Hmm. But there is one painting Olivia just doesn't get. I could do that in about five minutes she says to her mother. As soon as she gets home she gives it a try. Time out. After a nice bath and a nice dinner it's time for bed. But of course Olivia is not at all sleepy. Only five books tonight mommy she says. No, Olivia, just one. How about four? Two, three. I'll write three, but that's it. When they finished reading, Olivia's mother gives her a kiss and says, you know, you really wear me out, but I love you anyway. And Olivia gives her a kiss back and says, I love you anyway too. The end. All right, so next for today, we have got a song together. For this song, we need some help from what's in my bag. And this song's called The Animals on the Farm. And do you know, what type of animal is this? We've got a duck, and our duck likes to go quack, quack. You ready? The ducks on the farm go quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 the ducks on the farm go quack, quack, quack all day long. Hmm, there's another animal on our farm. And this animal has a curly pink tail and a snout and likes to go oink, oink, oink. It's a pig. The pigs on the farm go oink, 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 oink. The pigs on the farm go oink, oink, oink all 
day long. All right, hmm, what else could be on our farm? Oh, this animal is really soft to pet. See, it's a, it's a sheep, and our sheep likes to go ba. Ready? The sheep on the farm go ba 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 ba. The sheep on the farm go ba 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 all day long. Hmm. There's another animal on our farm. Let's see. This one's a type of bird, and it likes to lay eggs. We have a chicken, and our chicken likes to say cluck cluck cluck. The chickens on the farm go cluck cluck cluck. Cluck, 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 cluck. The chickens on the farm go cluck, cluck, cluck all day long. All right, we just have one animal left in our farm. And this animal is black and white. And we've got a cow. And our cow likes to say what? Our cow likes to say moo. The cows on the farm go moo, 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 moo. The cows on the farm go moo, moo, moo all day long. All right, so next it is time for our second story for today. And this story is called Pug Meets Pig. This is Pug's home, and this is where Pug lives. This is Pug's bowl. This is where Pug eats. And this is Pug's yard. This is where Pug works. And this is Pug's bed. This is where Pug sleeps. Pug is happy here at home with his bowl and his yard and his bed. But one day when the door opens, out trots someone new. Hmm, can you see what type of animal that is? We've got a pink pig. Pig meets pug, pug meets pig. Pug is hungry, but here is Pig. Pug has work to do, but here is Pig. Pug needs some sleep, but here is Pig. Pug is not happy. He is not happy here at home anymore. Pug cannot stay here. He packs his things. But wait, what's this? Now Pug can come and go without Pig. Once again, Pug is happy here at home, but someone else is not. Pig's head can fit through the doggy door. Pig's tail can fit through the doggy door, but Pig's round middle cannot fit. What a sad pig. Poor pig, he's stuck. Perhaps Pug could help. Perhaps Pug should help. Perhaps Pug will help. Pug scratches and gnaws, he chews and claws, and then the doggy door for Pug is also a piggy door for pig. Now, this is where Pug and Pig eat. And this is where Pug and Pig work. This is where Pug and Pig sleep. Pug is happy here at home. And so is Pig. The end. All right. So next for today, we are going to do some shaking. Can you find a toy or a shaker that makes a fun noise or a rattle? You ready? And can you shake? Can you shake, 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 shake? Can you shake, shake, shake? And can you stop? And can you shake again? Can you shake? And shake, and shake. And can you stop? And can you shake again? Can you shake? Now, can 
now. Can you shake your shakers? Way up high in the sky. Shake them way up high. And you shake them way down low. And you shake them way up high again. Way up high. And you shake them down low. Can you shake your shakers on top of your head? Can you shake them on top of your head? Can you shake them on top of your shoulders? Can you find your shoulders? What about on your elbows? Can you shake them on your elbows? And what about your knees? Can you shake them on your knees? Now, can you shake your shakers really, really fast? As fast as you can go. Shake, shake, shake. Fast, fast, fast. And can you shake your shakers really slow? And slow motion. And can you shake them really fast again? Fast, fast, fast. Shake them really fast. And can you shake them really slow and slow motion? All right, so now it's time with us for a song with our shakers and everybody can shake along. Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, give a shake, shake, shake. If you're happy and you know it, give a shake. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it If you're happy and you know it, give a shake, shake, shake If you're happy and you know it, give a clap, clap, clap If you're happy and you know it, give a clap, clap, clap If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it If you're happy and you know it, give a clap, clap, clap If you're happy and you know it, give a tap, tap, tap If you're happy and you know it, give a tap, tap if you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, give a tap, tap, tap. Oh, nice job. Here's a great big shake. Shake, shake, shake. All right. Now, you can go ahead and set your shakers aside for today. And we have one last story. And this story is called, If You Give a Pig a Party. Ready? This story is by Laura Numeroff. If you give a pig a party, she's going to ask for some balloons. When you give her the balloons, she'll want to decorate the house. When she's finished, she'll put on her favorite dress. Then she'll call all of her friends to invite them to the party. Her friends won't be home, so you'll go with her to look for them. On the way, you'll see a street fair. She'll want you to take her on the bumper cars. All of her friends will be there. Then you'll have to take her on all the rides, and she'll want to play all the games, too. When she's done, she'll ask you for some ice cream. When she's finished eating the ice cream, she'll need to change her clothes. You'll have to take her back home. She'll ask her friends to come along. On the way, she'll start a game of hide and seek. There they are playing. Do you see where Pig's hiding? Mm. When you finally get home, you'll have to make dinner. Then she'll want to have a sleepover. You'll have to find pajamas. And blankets and pillows for everyone. When she sees the pillows, she'll probably start a pillow fight. Then she'll make a fortress out of blankets. Of course, when she's finished, she'll want to decorate it. So she'll ask for some balloons. And chances are, if you give her some balloons, she's going to ask you for a party. The end. All right, so now it is time for our goodbye song. Are you ready? Our hands say thank you with a clap, clap. Our feet say thank you with a tap, 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 clap, 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 tap, 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 
we roll our hands around and wave goodbye. Bye everybody, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.